You weakling! 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 Counter hit. It's when you attack your opponent right as they're about to attack you or before their moves active frames are done, which is basically punishing. However, knowing when you've landed a counter hit is important as animations and sound cues are what tells you if you've countered or not. Koryu's dash kick when it counters sends the opponent flying across the stage, but normally it sends them on the ground right in front of you, not giving you that much distance. But if you hear the character make a sound after they get hit, then it's a counter. Another thing is that compared to normal hits, counter hits do more damage. Here's Koryu's back punch swipe. It only does 20 when in human, but as a counter hit, it does 22. Normally, you're stronger when you're in your beast form by default, but when a counter hit lands as you're in your beast form, it doubles practically. Koryu's back punch swipe does 24 normally, but in beast, it does 26 when it counters. Moving on, we have special moves. For example, this is Uriko's quarter circle forward punch, her quarter circle back punch, her quarter circle back kick, and her back forward punch. The reason why I didn't mention her quarter circle forward kick is because it can't be cancelled. However, the other moves mentioned prior can. This is called a command cancel. It'll take a bit to get used to, or a while, but once you figure out which character can follow up with a quarter circle forward, quarter circle back, back forward, or forward back motion after a certain move, these can make for very nice mix-ups and good pressure game when cancelled. Whether it's a golden spark attack or a guard attack slash green armor move, it's likely that you can cancel it to reset your character. A few things that I want to mention is that Uriko and Alice are the only two characters with stomps in this game by pressing forward and beast while in the air, and they're also the only two characters that can perform a cross up with these stomps. But it is incredibly hard, and it can result in either true or fake cross ups, which are great mix ups for your opponent. Another thing is that Sheena has a 360 grab that can only grab crouched or low opponents. The other half of the grab has a secret third beast drive in it, which is cool, but unfortunately if your opponent isn't in hyper beast, they can just hyper before it could even start, which sucks. And Alice's rabid head form is too small for it to complete, which I don't get. And Yugo, Fang, and Long are the only characters in the game that have heavy hit stun as an attribute to their hyper beast forms. So forget that I said that every character had hit stun in their hyper beast forms in my beast form breakdown video, because it's not true. It is not universal. Long and Shenlong stomping beast drives can only be stopped with grabs, lows, or beast drives. Even Sheena's quarter circle forward beast drive, if timed right, can guard break. But that's the thing, only if it's timed right. Because Long and Shenlong's beast drives, while very, very much alike, have little differences. Long stomps at a shorter range while Shenlong stomps farther. So that's something to keep in mind when fighting these particular characters. Not only do mids and highs make Shenlong or Long's beast drives go faster, but even transforming in front of them or attempting to charge up your gauge in front of them makes it go faster since it counts as a mid. Long and Shenlong stomping beast drives can also be avoided with a 2-2 stance or full crouch as well. And that's gonna be it for this video, I hope it's been helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next upload, whenever, if ever. Peace.